Say, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. I'm hungry, I'm hungry. For, your power. for your power. In the book of John, chapter 14, verse number 12, Jesus makes an astonishing statement. Now, of all the things that Jesus said, this statement is one of the ones that astonishes me most. I've read where Jesus said, you can move mountains with your faith. I've read where Jesus said, he's given us the power to heal the sick. I've read where Jesus said, I will be crucified. And on the third day, I will be raised to life again. I've heard him say through the scripture, these powerful things. But this statement is to me, in my opinion, One of the most extraordinary statements our Lord has ever made. In John chapter 14, verse number 12, he even has to emphasize it here. He even has to say, I tell you the truth. Anyone, say anyone, Anyone. who believes in me will do the same works I have done. Think about that, church. I tell you the truth, anyone who believes in me will do the same works I have done, and even greater works. He didn't say, my immediate 12 disciples. He didn't say, the New Testament church. He didn't say, those in a certain dispensation, and then afterwards, miracles will cease. No, Jesus promised, Jesus emphasized. Saying, I tell you the truth. Anyone who believes in me. That's a powerful statement. Anyone who believes in me. If you believe in Jesus, you can do what Jesus did. Why is that? Because he sent us his Holy Spirit. As I minister this word, this Pentecost Sunday, the scripture says in Acts chapter 1 verse 8, you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. And what comes next? And you will be my witnesses, telling people about me everywhere. In Jerusalem, throughout Judea, in Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. You notice it begins in the city, Jerusalem. And then it moves to regions, Judea and Samaria. And then it explodes onto the global stage all around the world. Holy Spirit, pour out your power and touch Orange, California and Southern California, and California, and the United States, and the world. But how does he do it? He does it through you. You shall receive power. That power from on high comes upon us for one primary purpose. That is to win the lost. That is to be witnesses. These miracles you saw tonight, They are to point to one primary message, and that is, Jesus is Lord. There is no other way to heaven but through Jesus. Jesus saves from sin and hell. Jesus is the way. Church, we've been given this power. We've been given this responsibility to carry the gospel message all around the world. And many of you sitting in this place tonight... Many of you watching by television or the internet or YouTube who hear this word, they're going to be used of God greatly. I'm excited to think about the fact that there are other evangelists sitting in this crowd. In this crowd, right now, there are evangelists. There are prophets. There are pastors and teachers and apostles. 
There are people with gifts of healing and the gifts of the prophetic and the gift of miracles and the gift of faith and the gift of helps and all the gifts are present here. His power is present. The anointing is present. God has given you his Holy Spirit and God has empowered you you are the prophetic fulfillment of the words of Jesus when he said, anyone who believes in me will do these works and even greater. Look at the state of the world. Things are falling apart. People say we're on the verge of war. You look at the darkness that surrounds us. You sense the uncertainty. Threats of disease and war. And then you look at the state of the church. And all you hear is the self-help gospel. Church, let me make something very clear. The gospel is not about self-help. It's about self-abandonment. They're teaching people how to build your esteem, and build your mind, and build yourself. I don't want to build what God told me to crucify. We need to stop preaching. Here's how you have seven steps to this, and eight keys to success, and nine keys to success, and all the keys, and all the steps, and all the programs. We don't need programs. We need the power of the Holy Ghost. Programs cannot replace power. Systems cannot replace the Spirit. And methods cannot replace miracles. The power of the Holy Spirit, when He comes upon you, He gives you all that you need. I don't know about you, but I'm tired of the church shying away from the Holy Spirit. I'm tired of the church treating the Holy Spirit like He's a liability. I'm tired of the church saying, well, Save the prayers for special services, and I prophesy right here and right now that this is the dawning of a new era. This is the beginning of a new season, and the power of the Holy Spirit will once again flood our churches. All he needs is someone who says, welcome Holy Spirit. All he needs is a vessel who will say, I'm willing to do what you've called me to do. Forget about the self-help. Forget about the programs. I don't need your 30-second devotionals with no depth of the word. We need a return of the power of the Holy Spirit. And this is the beginning of that. You who are sitting here are saying, we want more than what's out there. We want more than just the little quotes that we read every day. Stop telling me how to climb my mountain when I have the power to move it. We need people of faith. We need people who will rise and say, I may not look cool, I may not have all the trends, but in the name of Jesus, what I do have, I give unto you. Get up and walk. We have to turn away from anything that is not the genuine power of the Holy Spirit. We have to be so hungry so thirsty that we're willing to lay hold of those promises and cling to him until something happens. I'm not letting you go, Jesus. I'm not letting you go. I don't know anything else, but all I know is I need to cling to him. I believe in praying for the sick and seeing them healed. I believe in casting out demons. I believe in praying in tongues. I believe in the prophetic. I believe in preaching the gospel. Now the world may not like it, but they didn't like Jesus. Jesus said, they hated me, they'll hate you too. If they love you too much, there's a problem. If they celebrate you on their TV programs and celebrate you in their books and they celebrate you in their culture, then it's time that you started preaching the gospel. A crossless gospel is a Christless gospel. 
We need the preaching of the cross again. We need the preaching of the blood of Jesus. Now they may mock us. They may think we're strange, but I'd rather be strange and powerful than cool and powerless. I don't know about you, but I like being different. Because different is what brings change. Now some of you know what I'm talking about, some of you don't, that's okay. But you know that spirit is out there. It's the spirit of the age. We need to get back to it, church. Are you with me? Then let's pursue it now. You say, I don't know if God can use me. Here's the good thing, I didn't know either. I think we were having dinner with a pastor and you said something. At first I was a little offended and then I thought, <laughs> and then I thought about it more. I thought, he's right. So the pastor was saying, he goes, you know, I look at, he named two other ministers who I looked up to too. He goes, I, I look at them, I, I look at her, I look at him, and I look at you and I say, man, how could God use me? And then Steve goes, no, if God could use him, God could use anyone. <laughs> you see, when it comes to being used by the Holy Spirit, it's not about how gifted you are, how talented you are, how intelligent you are. It's about how surrendered you are. Yeah. Catherine Coleman said it best when she said, God is not looking for golden vessels. He's not looking for silver vessels. He's looking for yielded vessels. You don't need any more than what he's already given you. The question is not, how do I get more of the Holy Spirit? He's a person who came in fullness. He's faithful. The question is not, how do I get more of the Holy Spirit? The question is, how does he get more of you? Thank you for watching Encounter TV. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, help me win souls by spreading the gospel through events and media. Make a one-time donation or become a monthly supporter by clicking on the donate link now.